Hi, this is Tim at NetSource Media. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your page settings in SiteSource 3. The first thing you want to do is log into the management section of your website. You can do that by typing in your website URL slash manage. Once you've logged in using your username and password, you'll come back to your website and notice that all of your tools are up here in the top left hand corner of your screen. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to edit the summer sales event page. So once you click on the page you want to edit, it should show up in sort of uh, an edit mode here. I don't want you to pay attention to these blue boxes just yet. Um, that just means it's in edit mode. Uh, we'll go over that in another tutorial. But for this tutorial, we want to edit our page settings. So when you click on page settings at the top, you'll notice that you have these different boxes here that you can change the uh, content of. Uh, the first thing is the page path. Now you'll notice that our website URL says page 204 uh, after the slash here. That doesn't really tell us anything important about the page that we're on, so we really need to change that to something related to the page. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is delete that and type in something more relevant. Now this page is about the summer sales event, so I'm just going to type that in there. And let's click Save just to see what it looks like. There we go. Now you'll notice in the URL at the top, uh, we have summer sales event after our website URL. Uh, that tells us a lot more about the page and it's actually related to the content here. Unfortunately, uh, the title still says page 204. Now, just like our URL, uh, that doesn't really say anything important about the page that we're on. And it can be confusing when someone has a lot of tabs open and they're trying to uh, locate this page um, and, and they don't see anything related to summer sales event. So we need to change the page title. So again, we're just going to type in summer sales event. Now you could type in anything you want here, uh, but the content should always describe uh, what that page is about. And you always want to keep the title short. Um, you don't really have a ton of space to work with within these tabs, so it shouldn't really be a sentence, uh, more like a, a title. Uh, so we're just going to keep it to those three short words, uh, summer sales event. Okay, so you'll notice now that our page title is changed to summer sales event. And just like our URL, uh, that says a lot more about what's going on on this page, and it's going to be a lot more helpful to our website visitors. The next two items in our page properties are meta keywords and meta description. Now these two items you won't see on your page. There's nowhere where they show up uh, visibly on your website, but they are uh, connected to your website, sort of working in the background. Um, the meta keywords in the past were used for a lot of search engines when they were trying to figure out uh, what your website was about. You would put in meta keywords that sort of describe your page. Um, search engines have changed a lot, but some of them still uh, use the meta keywords and the meta description, so it's important that we include those items. So for the meta keywords for this page, you can see I've already filled in some relevant uh, words. Uh, summer, sales, discounts. Uh, I put Florida because that is the location where uh, this is going on. Uh, RV tells us what the event is about, and dealership says that we're a dealership. So these keywords can be anything. Um, you can type anything you want into here. Uh, generally, you want to keep it between, uh, you know, 5 to 15 words. You don't really want to go over more than uh, 15 keywords. Um, and the same goes for the meta description. You want to keep it generally short. Uh, the description differs from the keywords in that you're basically just writing a, a very short synopsis of what this page is about. Um, so I say the summer sales event is our biggest sale of the year. Now through June, visit our dealership for the best RV prices in Central Florida. So there you go. That's a short description that describes everything going on on this page. And that's going to help uh, search engines and other online tools um, when they are crawling your page, trying to figure out um, what exactly that page is about. So even though you don't see these on your website, they're important to fill in and you want to keep them pretty short. Uh, like I said, the meta keywords should be no more than 15 uh, words, and your description should be between about 70 to 160 characters. So once you've filled those in, you click Save, and now those are saved to your website. 
So the page settings help us change the URL here, the title, and the meta keywords and meta description. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, we're going to have many more, including all the rest of these tools up here. So check out our other videos if you want to learn how to use the other tools in SiteSource 3. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here in the office. Our support staff is available uh, from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday. So give us a call if you have questions. You can also visit us online at netsourcemedia.com. Thanks so much.